is mine, joy in my soul, peace in my mind, he is mine, he is mine, Jesus I know, he is mine, he is mine, he is mine, joy in my soul, peace in my mind. He is mine, He is mine, Jesus I know, He is mine, all day long, all day long, joy in my soul, peace in my mind, all day long, all day long, Jesus I know, He is mine. He is mine, He is mine, joy in my soul, peace in my mind. He is mine, He is mine, Jesus I know, He is mine. He is mine, He is mine, joy in my soul, peace in my mind. He is mine, He is mine, Jesus I know, He is mine. Good morning, God bless you. Good morning, Bishop and Mother Joseph. God bless you, Sister Angela. God bless you, Sister Nixon. Praise the Lord, Pastor and Lady Chetram. God bless you, Sister Chambliss. Good morning, Sister Burnett. God bless you, Sister Valencia. God bless you, Sister Patrick. Praise the Lord, Sister Tracy. God bless you, Mother Fears. God bless you, Sister Petaway. Praise the Lord, Sister Wright. God bless you. God bless you, Sister Gordon. God bless you, Sister Pam. God bless you, Mother Hudson. Praise the Lord, Sister Jan. God bless you, Brother Wardlaw. Praise the Lord, Mother Howard. God bless you, Sister Edmund. God bless you, Pastor Morton and Lady Morton. Thank God for you. God bless you, Sister Goss. God bless you. Praise the Lord, Sister Jan, God bless you, Sister Deborah. Praise the Lord, Kim. Good morning. Good morning, Francine. God bless you. God bless you, Sister Hedrick. God bless you, Brother Tony. Good morning. Good morning, Sister McLeod. God bless you, Sister Roberts. Praise the Lord, Mama Ned. I hope you had a wonderful birthday yesterday. God bless you, Sister Jackson. God bless you, Sister Sarah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you, Sister Carly. God bless you, Sister Durham. Praise the Lord, Sister Haynes. God bless you, Sister Nicholson. God bless you, Sister Kathy. Praise the Lord to you. God bless you, Mother Mamie. God bless you, Sister Judy. God bless you, Sister Roberts. God bless you, Kathy. Praise the Lord. Good morning to you. Good morning, Sister McCall. Good morning, Sister Cooper. God bless you, Sister Ford, Sister Lynn. God bless you, Sister Brockett. Praise the Lord. Sister Bevel, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Mother Howard. Praise the Lord, Mother Moorhead. God bless you. Good morning. Praise the Lord to you, Sister Hutchinson. God bless you. Thank God for you. God bless each of you. Praise the Lord, Sister Watson. God bless you, Duchess. Good morning to you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you, Mother Pride. Praise the Lord to you. God bless you, Sister Jackson Holmes. God bless you, Evangelist Pettiford. Praise the Lord. God bless you, Sister Lynn. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord to you. God bless you. God bless you, Sister Nixon. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Well, good morning and praise the Lord, everybody, and welcome to the morning prayer with Pastor Reginald Davis. And once again, it is a pr privilege, an honor, and a pleasure to be able to share these few precious moments with you with a biblical meditation and in prayer. More things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know. And we continue to be in awe of what the Lord is doing, how the Lord is blessing, how God is strengthening and helping the people of God through prayer. God delivering, God doing what God does when the people do what we're supposed to do, and that is pray. The Bible says men ought to do what? Always pray and not faint. That means prayer should be our first response and not our last resort. Say that again. Prayer should be our first response and not our last resort. Always seeking the face of God, always seeking 
God's help, always seeking God's strength, always seeking God's guidance to know what to do, how to do, where to do. We know that through the element of prayer. And so for that reason, we gather even in the morning that we might seek the guidance of the Holy Spirit, his presence in our lives as we go forth each day, and that God will renew us and strengthen us and bless us in our going out and our coming in. So as always, if you have a prayer request, please, please take a moment and type the name of that person that needs a blessing into the chat so that we can add those names to the prayer list. If you're in prayer requests of a private nature, please feel free to put it in my inbox, Reginald Davis, or in the Refuge Temple inbox so that we can once again add those names to the prayer list, call those names to the Lord, and believe God for what we know the Lord can and will do for his people because God remains faithful to us and he remains the support that we need to live, to grow, and to be all that we will be in Christ Jesus. I want to conclude this um, book of Ephesians. And so I want us to move to Ephesians chapter 6. And I want you to notice with me, I was going to say verse 19, but I'm going to say verse 18, because I think they all kind of tie together. Verses 18 through the conclusion of the epistle. Verse 18 through verse number 24. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak, but that but that ye also may know my affairs and how I do. Tachakas, the beloved brother and faithful minister in the Lord, shall make known to you all things, whom I have sent unto you for the same purpose, that ye might know our affairs, and that he might comfort your heart. Peace be to the brethren, and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all them that love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen. 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 So we want to talk for a moment about boldness. We want to talk for just a moment today on the issue of boldness. 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 Something that is needed at every moment in this walk in this call and this ministry that God has given us, there is this profound need for boldness, praying for boldness, praying for boldness. We've talked about spiritual warfare and we've talked about preparation, helmet, shield, shoes, the girdle, um, the sword, the breastplate. We've talked about that. But we haven't talked perhaps enough about, and even though these things apply to the mind, let's continue this notion of the thought. What is your state of mind when you meet the enemy? What is your state of mind when you confront um demonic forces? What is your state of mind when you engage in the call of God on your life? Too many believers operate in a spirit of timidity. They're timid. They're shy. They're uncertain. They are um, standoffish. And you can't approach warfare from a state of timidity. You can't approach ministry even from a state of timidity. If you're going to do the work of God, you have to do the work of God with a spirit of boldness. Not arrogance, not pride, not I think I'm all of that in a bag of chips, but the boldness in the positioning that Christ has placed in your life positioned, 
to do the work of God, anointed, chosen, um, confident, not in your ability, but in the ability of God. God creating in you this spirit that says, I can do it even under the most difficult circumstances. Satan is not going to make your ministry easier. I'll say that again. Satan is not going to make your ministry easier. He is going to do everything in his power. He's going to use every trick, tool, device in his arsenal to convince you that you can't, you shouldn't even show up for the battle. You shouldn't even show up to do ministry. You shouldn't even show up at the site where God has anointed or appointed or placed you because he's hoping with your timidity that you will just simply withdraw. I, I've said this. He plays mind games with the believers, the mind games to get you simply to see yourself as defeated before you even go to war, to see yourself as, praise our God, completely deficient, completely depleted, even before you step out to do what God wants you to do. So anything I can do to stop you, anything Satan can do to hinder you, he will do it. And that's why the response of the believer is boldness, not retreat, not withdrawal, not giving up, not going back, but standing firm on what God has called you and anointed you to do. Standing firm on your assignment. Standing firm in your commitment to Christ. Standing firm and assured in this. And so Paul talks to us, and, and that's why this prayer piece is so critical. You know, y'all say, Bishop just talks about prayer. Well, prayer is a lifeline. Yesterday would have been my grandmother's 101st birthday. And if anyone knew my grandmother, if anybody knew Mother Annie Pierce, they knew Mother Pierce was a prayer warrior. And she used prayer as her key to strength, as her key to confidence, as her key to blessings and miracles, because prayer was what she did. She taught us to pray. I watched her pray. I listened to the fervency and the impact and the power of prayer. And she taught me that if you pray, God's going to empower you to do what you have to do. If you pray, God's going to give you what you need to operate, to move. And prayer is what helps you to overcome the weaknesses that you might have. Everybody's got some. Everybody's got some hindrances. Everybody's got some things that if you allow them to control your life, they would take you out of life, take you out of ministry, take you out of ministering to your family, your friends, and those to whom you are called. If you let it get in your way, it will stop you. But thank God for this praying always with all prayer and supplication, where? In the Spirit, I'm going to be empowered by the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit is going to empower me to do what I have to do, to act like I need to act, because the power comes where? Out of the Spirit. And watching, that means there's an awareness that comes with prayer. Satan is not going to always take me by surprise when I'm praying. God's going to show me some things. God's going to reveal some things. God's going to open up some mysteries and make known some things so that I'm not taken by surprise. With all perseverance, perseverance, pushing through, pushing past, going above, going beyond, not being stopped. That persevering spirit that pushes me, oh, Shataye, when I want to give up. Don't you know everybody feels like that? You are not the only person that felt like giving up. You're not the only person that's been frustrated by a lack of results. You're not the only person that has dealt with this notion of maybe it's just not worth it. But with that prayer comes what? Perseverance. I'm going to press my way through. I'm going to push my way through. I'm going to push myself to where God is trying to take me because with the prayer comes this level of perseverance. I'm going to push my way and I'm going to keep praying not only for myself, but I'm going to pray for somebody else. That's the supplication for all saints. We ought to always be praying for each other because everybody is challenged by something. 
Please don't believe because you don't hear them complain, because you don't hear them um, bellyache, because you don't hear them gripe or bemoan their frustrations. It doesn't mean they don't have frustrations. Everybody's got some things that aren't working the way you want them to work. People who are, are battling or giving them challenges, people who are sometimes hard to deal with. Guess what? Everybody has that. And so we pray for what? Everybody. We pray for one another because your struggle is real. My struggle is real. Our struggles are real. But yet God is giving us the perseverance to push forward. God is giving us the insight, the anointing, the power to push our way forward. And he says, as for me, he's Paul says, I'm praying that utterance may be given to me. I'm praying for what to say because I know I've been called to preach the gospel. I know I've been called to carry the word of God. I know I've been called to give utterance to the voice of God. So as for me, that I want utterance to be given unto me. Lord, give me what to say because I do not want to talk in my flesh or in my emotions or in my feelings. I want to say, God, what you would have me to say. I want to be your mouthpiece. I want to be, oh God, your speaker. I want to be your instrument that utters only what you give me to other. So I'm praying for the utterance that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Paul knew that above everything else, his chief assignment was to carry the gospel everywhere God sent him as he went. And we understand his journey. He was in prison and he went as a prisoner from Felix to Festus to Herod Agrippa. He went as a, as, as a, as a prisoner all the way to Rome and everywhere he went, he went preaching the gospel. Saints, I can't tell you that you won't have hardship. I can't tell you that you won't have sin. Sickness. I can't tell you that you won't have difficulty, but in every situation that your life presents, you've got to carry out the assignment that God has given you. God didn't say witness when times were easy. God didn't say preach when things were going light. God didn't say preach when everybody loved you and supported you. It, he said be instant. Oh, Shataye, in season, out of season, good times, bad times. It's never going to be a convenient time. If you're waiting for the best time when everything is okay and everything is all right, my brother, my sister, that time is not coming. There's going to be some difficult moments where you're going to be challenged to do what God called you to do no matter what is going on. There may be sickness in your body, but you have to continue the assignment God is giving you. There may be financial pressures, but you have to carry out the assignment that God is giving you. There may be people trying to fight against you, the enemy using them to attack you, but you have to carry out your assignment. God, give me the boldness to open my mouth boldly and to make known for what I'm an ambassador in bonds. I'm in chains. I'm a prisoner, but I'm still an ambassador, even in prison. I'm still an ambassador, even in the battle. I'm still an ambassador, even under attack. I don't stop being what I have been called to be, even if the things around me are not optimal. Even if the things around me are not working, I'm still called to do this assignment. So God give me the boldness, he says, that I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Lord, let me say what I need to say. Don't let me speak my frustration or speak my condition or speak my situation. Let me speak the word that you have given into my life. Let me speak the, the, the calling and the challenge and the gospel that you have placed in my heart. Let me carry out the assignment. Saints, I didn't come to, oh God, to Deceive you into thinking that every moment of ministry is going to be easier. There are peaks and valleys, ups and downs, situations, circumstances, but the assignment doesn't change. What I have been called to do, I have to do. So God, give me the boldness and don't even allow my present state to make me timid. Because y'all see how people are when they're arrested, when they're, when they're imprisoned, they hold the coat over their head. They hold their hands over their head. They don't want to be photographed. They don't want to be seen. And, and, and I'm sure with Paul, because he was a Roman citizen, because he had been a Pharisee, because he was an apostle, there was an element of embarrassment with the fact that he was imprisoned. 
That's why he told Timothy, don't be ashamed of me. Don't be ashamed of my testimony because I'm not ashamed. He had to get over that fact that you're in prison, Paul. But Paul says, I'm in prison, but I'm still called to preach the gospel. I might be in an embarrassing situation, but I'm still called to preach. I'm still called to witness. I'm still called to testify. Do not allow your circumstance to embarrass you into silence. I'm going to say that again. Do not allow your circumstance to embarrass you into silence. No, it may not be the perfect place. It may not be the perfect position. It may not be the perfect circumstance, but if the call of God is upon your life. Don't be embarrassed. Open your mouth and proclaim what God has told you to do. Open your mouth and give the message that God has told you to give. Open your mouth and boldly stand because I, this is not about me. This is not about me. It's about the message. It's about the Savior. It's about the God that I serve. God bless you. Come on. Let's pray. Lord, I love you. I honor you. I adore you. I bless your name. God, for your goodness, your mercy endureth forever. Your grace abounds, God, in every situation in life. Your grace sustains us in every condition of the moment. We're kept. We're supported. We're blessed. We're favored because of your presence. So thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for our right minds. Thank you for the mind to pray. Thank you for the desire to seek your face in this morning. Thank you. Thank you, God, for this great morning, this great day. Lord, something that you're going to do for somebody. Thank you for that today. And I thank you for my many brothers and sisters from all over the world who have joined us this morning in prayer. Thank you for their faith. Thank you for their consistency. Thank you for their perseverance. Thank you, God, for their commitment to prayer because prayer opens doors. Prayer makes changes. Prayer changes situations. And we understand today the power of prayer. And God, I'm praying for each one of, oh God, my brothers and sisters, that Lord, the request that they have before you, that, God, you would honor the request, even the request that is unwritten, unspoken, unuttered, but, Lord, is in their heart. Hey, Shataye, God, that you would step in and deliver because we know that you're able. God, we're praying today. Oh, God, for strength and grace. We're praying today for the destruction of yokes. Oh, God, some of us have family that are in bondage. Some of us have people that are bound. Hey, Shataye, Shatanobosai. Oh, God, in so many ways. But, God, we trust you. God, we trust you. God, we trust you. God, we trust you today, Lord, to release, to strengthen. We trust you today to bring deliverance. We trust you today, oh God, to break chains, to open up prisons. Oh God, emotional prisons, mental prisons, physical prisons. Oh God, incarcerated in the spirit, but God, you're able to deliver today. Lord, stretch out your mighty hand right now. God, we pray today for every name that is on the prayer list, every name that's in the chat, every name, oh God, that's been added to the prayer book. My God, we're praying for those names today today and we're trusting and believing God we're praying for the Gordon family today we're praying for sister Gordon we're praying oh God for the Caribbean oh God that's been hit by the storms that you would cause them to recover we're praying for the Diaz family the Scott family we're praying for Calvary Temple we're praying for Lynette and her son we're praying for Marcus Lewis Maurice Lewis we're praying for Deacon James Wright we're praying for Angelese we're praying for Diane Richards we're praying for Mount Sinai Solid Rock Church we're praying for Grace Apostolic church. We're praying for David, for Neilsham. We're praying, my God, for Lisa McPhee. We're praying for the Nanku family. God, we're praying for those soldiers who are deployed, those sailors at sea, God. We're praying for Diane. We're praying for the Graves family, the Amerson family, the Jones family. We're praying for the Watson family, the Mingo family, the Carter family, the Fluid family. We're praying for Mary Swinton. We're praying for Howard bro the Howard brothers. We're praying, my God, for the Scott family, the Diaz family, the Lovett family. We're praying for the 
the Wright family. We're praying for Delphia Smith Ferguson. We're praying for Steve today. We're praying for Sister Mary Foster and her daughter. We're praying for Makeda. We're praying for Wanzi. We're praying for Rashida. We're praying for Anka. We're praying for Brother Pope today, God. We're praying, my God, for Robert Rogers, for Joseph Poe, for Walter Daniels, for Janetta Rogers, for Jose Cortez. We're praying for Sandra Cortez, for Nikki Clark, for Antoine Poe, for Joe Rich, for Joyce Rich, for Jerry Rich, for James Rich. We're praying for Larice Rich. We're praying for S.A. today. We're praying for Ray, for Charles, for Jesse, for James. We're praying for Tamara and Tommy today. God, we're praying for every person that said pray for me. We're praying for every name in the chat. Every name, oh God, sent to us by messenger, by text, by email. We're praying for every soul today. God, that you would deliver. That you would work miracles because you are a miracle worker. That you would open doors. That you would save. Oh my God, to the utmost. That you would strengthen. That you would fortify. We pray for Matt and Jill today. We pray for Deacon and Mother Wilson. Deacon and Sister Morris. Bishop and Mother Joseph today. Pastor and Lady Alde. Pastor and Lady Chetram today. God, we're praying. Oh God, we're praying for Bishop and Lady State. We're praying for Brother and Sister Wickens. Pastor and Sister Dykes. God, we're praying. Oh God, God, for Deacon and Mother Grant today. God, we're praying for every soul. We're praying for Bruce and Jessica. We're praying for Nikki and Sherrod. We're praying, oh God, for the Griffins. We're praying for every soul that needs a miracle. Every family, every marriage, every relationship, God. Lord, stretch out your hand because you are a deliverer. We're praying for the sick today. God, remember Mich Michelle Wright. Remember my God, Brother Eddie Fields. Remember Deacon Wright. Remember Sister Rose's son. Remember Twyla Taylor and her father. Remember Minister Carr today. Remember Johnny Moore today. Remember Gerald Power. Remember Shadea and her new baby today. Remember Jason Lofton, my God. Remember these folks, Lord, that need a touch of your hand, that need the healing virtue that only comes from you. Remember Jenna. Remember Miss Washington. God, remember Mother Grant today in a special way. God, overshadow her. Touch her now in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, bring healing. Remember Deacon and Sister Hudson. Remember Lady Powell. Remember Apostle Edwards today. Remember Apostle Kramer. Remember District Elder Mark Jones. Remember Cliff in your land. Remember Kimberly. Remember Gianna. Remember Gary today. Remember Jerry today. Remember James today. Maurice, Marlette, Samson, and Sesame. God, Chris Wright, Lord, touch and heal. Remember Darren and Dinette today. Remember Emma and her baby. Remember Demetrius today. Lord, Clay. Remember Donna, Shamar, Alice, my God. Remember Reginald King, Connie Ro Rose today. Remember Carolyn Green. Remember Barbara Dews. Remember Keyshawn. Remember Andre today. Remember Sylvia, Justin. Remember that baby miracle. Oh, God, remember Remember Sister Kadia. Remember Mary and Cynthia. Remember Elder Spain today. Remember Sister Ima. Remember Deacon Wright. Remember William Keller. Rossi today. Howard today. Sister Walker. Benjamin Knighton. Remember Deacon Shannon today. Remember Reverend Marion Williams. God. Remember Pastor Dykes today. Remember Pastor Carr. In the name of Jesus. Remember Pastor Jackson. God. Lord, bring healing and deliverance now. God, remember. Oh God, touch and heal by your power. Remember, oh God, Elder. Oh God, Smith today. Remember Elder Tyson. Remember Pastor Tucker. Remember Pastor Grant today. Remember Mother Clark in the name of Jesus. God, strengthen and touch. God, remember, oh God, Mother Evangeline Jenkins. Remember my God, Lord Lady Andrea Maxwell. Remember Duchess today. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Remember Brother Wiggins right now. Remember Brother and Mother Sherrod. Deacon and Mother Garland today. Remember Mother Foster, Henry J. Remember Mother Tanaj in the name of Jesus. Remember my God, Mother Holman. Remember Sister Simmons today. Oh God, touch by Shataye because we know that you're a healer. Touch and move by your power today. Oh God, remember Cynthia right now. Touch that body in the name of Jesus. Oh God, you're a healer. Lord, stretch out your hand to heal. Stretch out your hand to deliver in the name of Jesus. God, we pray for Lady Nola Pitchford, my God, in the Moran family in the loss of Mother Moran. God, we pray for grieving people everywhere, God. We pray for those 
that are dealing with the reality of a loss of a loved one. God, you are a sustainer. You are a cover. You are a keeper. So envelop them, my God, in your precious love. Envelop them in the peace of God that passes all understanding. Give comfort to grieving people everywhere today. God, remember the Simmons family. Remember Sandra Bullock. Remember Chrissy Pollock. Remember Jennifer. Remember the Davenport family of New Jersey. Remember Kendra, Brianna. Remember, my God, the family of Johnny Adams, the family of Felix Soprong. Remember the Lippman family. Remember the Carmazin family. Remember Brenda Allen and, and the McNeely family. God, remember Brooke. Remember the Wilkins family. Remember the family of Patricia Harris Williams. Remember the Bryant family. God, comfort the family of Donnie Richards. Comfort Kimberly and Tina and Brianna. All these women lost children. God, remember Sister Pam and the Williams family. Remember, oh God, Janelle and Darren today. Remember the Williams family, the family of Charles Smith. Remember the Johnson family today. My God, give them comfort and peace and grace. Oh God, in the midst of this season. God, we're praying today for every grieving household and every grieving family. God, remember the Morris family, the Allen Williams family. God, continue to comfort Trail and Ryan. God, remember the Talaferro family, the Taylor family, the Whitehead family, the Cherry family, the Manic family. God, remember the Anthony family, the Manly family. Remember Lady Jacqueline Powell, oh God, and the Caldwell family. Remember Lady Davenport and her family. God, remember the Council family, the Plummer family, the Sneed family, the Turner family, the McNeil family. God, the Banks family, the Mason family, Deborah, the Dargon family. Remember Miles, oh God, and the Jefferson family. God, remember the Washington Fields family. Remember the Purdy's, the Sneeze, the Banks family. God, remember the Taylors today. Remember the Lloyds. Remember, oh God, the Brian Hopkins family. Remember the McNeil, oh God, McLean family today. God, remember, oh God, the Allens. Remember, my God, the Giles family. Remember the Carter family, God. Lord, lift them up and hold them up. Remember the Clark family, God. Strengthen Tommy, oh God, and Michelle. Remember, oh Shatana Yeshi Adama. Oh God, the Sapata family, the Felix family. Every family that lost somebody, every widow and widower. My God, remember, oh God, every, every single child that lost a parent, every parent that lost a child, everyone that lost a loved one. God, give grace, give comfort, give peace. Oh God, the passive all understanding. God, I pray for the body of Christ today. Every apostle, prophet, oh God, evangelist, pastor, and teacher, every bishop and elder, every first lady, every mother and missionary. God, every young person in the church. God, every pastor. Oh God, every musician, psalmist, and singer. Every believer in the body of Christ. God, help the church. God, the enemy is trying to push us into silence. The enemy is trying to make us reserved, reclusive, my God. He's trying to put a spirit of retreat in the church. But God, we're praying for boldness to step up, to stand out. Oh God, we're praying for power. Oh God, to be witnesses. Power to preach. Power to teach. Power to evangelize. Power, my shataye, to work in your anointing and the spirit you've given us. Power to do what we've been called to do. God, give us that boldness. We rebuke the spirit of timidity. We rebuke the spirit that draws us back. We rebuke the spirit that hinders us. Oh God, help us to press our way. Help us to push our way. Help us to stand in the midst of all that we face to do what you have called us to do. God, strengthen and sustain us. God, I'm praying today for first responders and essential workers. God, I'm praying today, oh God, for those people in Florida, my God. Oh God, the many people that are grieving the deaths of loved ones. Oh God, trapped in that building. My God, comfort them now. Oh God, people who are facing hurricanes. God, protect them, Lord God, and keep them safe. God, we're praying even for this Delta variant that continues to show itself on the landscape. God, deliver. God, reduce these numbers. Reduce this infection rate. Reduce my this hospitalization rate reduce the mortality rate God as we act in faith and wisdom God cover and protect us remember Trinidad Tobago remember St. Lucia remember St. Kitts today remember Jamaica today God Lord remember Grenada oh Shata remember the Dominican Republic remember the United States God Lord continue to move in our midst God reduce oh God Shata and abate this spirit of murder and killing that keeps to walking our streets today Oh, Shata, cover us and protect us, God. Keep us today and make our day productive. Lord, hold us up, God. Sustain us, God. And most of all, cause us to maintain our assignment. Keep us in your will, God. And God, for all these things, we say thank you. 
and we give your name the glory, the honor and praise in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Come on, everybody. Give God praise right now. Come on. Give him praise. Hallelujah. That's right. Give the Lord praise. Come on. Give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Oh, God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right. Give the Lord praise. Give the Lord praise. Give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. Give the Lord praise. Here is my declaration. Hallelujah for today. Lord, let me act in boldness. Lord, let me act in boldness. When it comes to the kingdom, when it comes to the ministry, when it comes to the work of God. Hallelujah. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. And it's with that confidence, hallelujah, that we do what we do. We don't do what we do in timidity. We don't do what we do drawing back, but we do it in the boldness that comes from God. It may not be your natural personality to be a bold person, but when the Holy Ghost empowers you, when the Holy Ghost strengthens you, when the Holy Ghost helps you, guess what? Boldness becomes a part of what you do. Boldness becomes a part of how you act and you find yourself doing things you would not normally do because it's not you, but it's the Holy Ghost. Oh God, working inside of you. He's given us this power. He's given us this authority and we are acting in the power and the presence of God. Lord, let me act in boldness. Let me move in boldness. Let me move in the confidence that you are with me. Saints, I came to help everybody declare that I can do all things through Christ. I can do all things through Christ, I can do everything Christ has called me to do. It doesn't matter if I know how to do it. He's going to show me how. It doesn't matter if I don't know what to say. He's going to give me what to say. But I can do all things through Christ that does what? Strengthens me. And I'm going to act in the boldness that comes from the power and the presence of the Holy Ghost. God bless you today. Thank you so much for being with us. You can remain connected with Refuge Temple all day today. This prayer service will be available on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And thank you to our Instagram viewers who are now joining us. God bless you. And keep telling people about the morning prayer. You can also remain connected through our podcast, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, Spotify, all of these mediums are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can go back to them, refer them. And if any of them bless you, please share it with somebody else. We want to ask you to please support our radio broadcast that airs every day, Monday through Friday at 1130 a.m., on GregoryGospel.com. Every day, Monday through Friday at 11.30 a.m. on GregoryGospel.com. We want to thank you for supporting and praying for the broadcast. Look, thank to everyone. Thank you to every person who has sown and seeded and given into Refuge Temple. We thank God for you. We love you and we appreciate you. And if you want to be a blessing, you can do so by mailing a gift to P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. That's Refuge Temple Church, P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. If you want to give electronically, you can use our website, which is RefugeTempleNC.com, Refuge Temple NC. N is in North, C is in Carolina.com. Go to our donate page and make your gift. You can also, if you have the GiveLify app, just type in Refuge Temple Burlington. Look for the picture of the church and then give your gift, all right, to Refuge Temple. Or you can use our cash app. That is dollar sign, the number one refuge. Dollar sign, the number one refuge, and make your gift. But thank you for everyone that gives. But thank you most of all for being with us in prayer. It's my prayer that the word and the prayer has strengthened you, has started your day to a good start, and that you move in boldness, in boldness, in boldness to do what God has called you to do. Please keep praying for us. Pray for me. Pray for Lady Davis. Pray for our children. Pray for my father. Pray for my entire family. Pray for Refuge Temple. Pray for all the ministries 
in the states and abroad with which we're connected, that God would use us to operate in boldness. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. This is Wednesday. So join Refuge Temple tonight at eight o'clock for Bible study. The lesson is learning to love me, learning to love me. It's going to bless you. So come and join us tonight at eight o'clock. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. Until next time, this is Pastor Davis. Shalom, shalom.